Hi, I'm Alan Muldoon. I'm the bike test editor at MBR. And today we've come to Canuck Chase to check out the new 2016 range of specialized stump jumpers. But before we take a closer look at the new bikes, a little bit of history. The specialized stump jumper has always been a key trail bike for MBR. With 26 inch wheels, it was our trail bike of the year. It won multiple tests. And when Specialized switched to 29, we were a little bit slow to pick up on that bike, but it's fair to say that the Stump Jumper 29 turned more people on to the benefits of big wheels than any other bike we had. Obviously, when we heard that the bikes were changing for 2016, we got a little bit nervous because, like I said, the 29er Stump Jumper, it was our bike of the year last year. It's an absolutely killer 29er, and we're kind of worried that Specialized might have messed it up. So the biggest change for 2016 is that the Stump Jumper family's grown. There are now four versions of the bike. You've got the 29er version. You've got the 650B bike. You've got a 650B Fatty, which has got 650B plus wheels. And there's also a women's specific bike called the Rhyme. We're gonna take a look at each of those bikes in detail. But before we do that, there are a few key things to the Stump Jumper range in general that have been implemented. The first one, and one that we've probably been moaning about for longer than anything else, is the Specialized that finally got shorter stems on the bikes. The Medium, Large, and XL all come with 60 mil stems, while the Small and Extra Small are running a 45. So the next key change is the Command Post. It's internally rooted. It's now got 12 positions in cruise mode. So that should make it a lot easier to find your perfect saddle height for every riding situation. Obviously, you can just flick the lever, slam it all the way down, you're good to go. It's still got quite a high air pressure, so it shoots up pretty fast, but it's a reliable seat post and it's a big improvement on the old version. So a few other key things on the bike. You get a press fit 30 bottom bracket, 142 by 12 rear end, that's on the 29er and this normal 650B and the Rhyme version. We'll talk about the fatty bike later. All bikes have got bolt through forks up front, tapered head tubes. But the key change is that the chainstay lengths have been shortened on the 29er and the 650B bike. We haven't had a lot of complaints about the long chain stays on the 29er, but obviously specialized. It's something that they got to be in their bonnet about and they like having short chain stays. So by removing the seat stay bridge here and reinforcing the linkage here, they've now got more tire clearance, more frame clearance, and they've got the chain stays on the 29er down to 437 millimeters. And on the 650B bike, they're really short at 420. So back to the drive side. Depending on the level of spec or the price of the bike, some bikes run 2x10, top end bikes run 1x11, and there's a taco blade, which is a little mount here that the front neck attaches to, and that can be removed if you want to upgrade to 1x11 at a later date. It's a really neat feature. You've got butcher tires up front, purgatory in the rear, pretty much Dialed little bike. This is the Stump Jumper FSR Comp 29. It's got an aluminium frame and it costs 2,200 pounds, which is 300 pounds cheaper than last year's bike with no obvious downgrades in the specification. One more thing I should mention about the new Stump Jumpers is that they have the same travel as last year. So the Stump Jumper 29 has a 140 mil fork and 135 mil travel in the rear. The 650B bike has 150 front and rear. So that's an overview of all the changes, and that's pretty much covered everything you need to know about the Stump Jumper FSR Comp 29. Now let's take a closer look at the Stump Jumper Comp Carbon. Obviously, you get a carbon frame, alloy rear end. This particular version is the 650B bike. There's also a 29 bike that's identical, only it's got 29 inch wheels, and both bikes cost 3,000 pounds. You get a Revelation fork on the front. You get custom tuned Fox shock. Two by 10 drivetrain. Shimano brakes. It's a great little package for three grand. 
One of the key things about this bike is because it's got a carbon frame, it's got the new SWAT door on the down tube. This whole section lifts off and you can stuff basically a pump, you can stuff your clothing, you can stuff food inside your frame. So it's basically like a glove compartment. I'll show you how that works later when we get to the fat bike. With 650B and 29, sometimes it's really hard to tell the difference between the bikes. Um, but one easy way to do it with the stump jumper range is that the 650B bikes get a riser bar, the 29ers come with a flat bar. And all bikes, apart from the women's bikes, run 750 mil wide bars. Geometry wise, the 650B bike has a slightly slacker head angle than the 29er, and it's got the shorter chain stays at 420 millimeters. One of the big improvements for 2016 is that Specialized is no longer mix matching a 29er front end with a 650B rear end. This bike's 100% designed for 650B wheels. So that's the Stumpy FSR Carbon, 3,000 pounds, 650B version, 150 mil travel, 29er, slightly less travel, both sweet bikes. A new bike in the Stump Jumper family is the Rhyme. Specialized has played around with different wheel sizes, pushing 29er, but it's never really had a, a 150 mil travel women specific bike. This is it. And that's because it uses exactly the same frame as the men's 650B bike. What makes it women specific is that it's got a reduced travel dropper post for the smaller frame sizes. It's got a women specific saddle. It runs a 720 mil handlebar instead of a 750. And the small bikes get ditty little 45 mil stems. The key thing, however, is that the suspension, front and rear, has been custom tuned for lighter riders. Obviously having such small frames presents a few issues, namely fork clearance with the frame. Here you can see Specialized has got a little integrated bump stop that stops your forks. In the event of a crash or if you basically this bike falls over and handlebars spin round, you can't damage your frame or your fork. This particular model is the Rhyme Comp and the pricing mirrors the Stump Jumper Comp. So it's 2,200 pounds complete. The latest addition to the new Stump Jumper range is the Six Fatty S-Works. The key thing with this Stump Jumper is it's running a 3.0 tire front and rear. That gives you a way bigger contact patch and much more cushioning. It's using the standard 30 mil internal 650B rim and it's the tire height that makes the difference. To accommodate the bigger tire, this bike's got a 148 mil rear axle. So that's six mil wider than the standard, like 142. It's actually bolted onto a regular carbon 29er front end. Up front, we've got 150 mil of travel as opposed to 135 on the rear. And that's just to offset slightly the difference in height between the 650B plus wheel and the 29er wheel. The axle is also wider. It's a still a 15 mil quick release, but it's now got 110 mil spacing rather than 100 mil that you'd find on any other bike with a 15 quick release. And the reason for that is a wider tire needs more clearance, so the dropouts had to come out and the whole fork stance is much wider. But that's not all that's cool about this bike. What I should tell you is a lot of guys specialize, they don't like riding with a backpack. So they came up with the SWAT concept, which stands for storage, water, air, and tools. Last year in the Stump Jumper, there was a little tool attached to the bottom of the bottle cage and you still have a chain breaker stood under the headset top cap. This year, Specialized taking it to a whole new level. The tool's now tucked under the top tube, just like it is on the Epic. And with the SWAT door, you flick the lever, unhook it, open it up. Inside, you can keep gels, You got a little tool wrap that you can stow your pump in. And this is the best part. 
you've got this, so you can stuff an inner tube, a jacket, some extra bits. Basically, you have the whole down tube for storing whatever you like. So obviously you don't want the contents of your swap box getting mixed up in your cables. So Specialized now run a tube that the cables run in from top to bottom. And not only does that stop it getting mixed up with this, it means that you pop an inner and outer in the top and it just pops out at the bottom. There's no more fishing around, trying to get your cables through, none of that nonsense that's usually a pain in the ass with um, internal cable routing. Because this particular bike's an S-Works bike, it's got the SRL, command post lever, and that's basically because there's no need for a front neck. The command post release lever now takes the place of the old shifter. So that's a quick overview of the 6 Fatty. This bike's not actually available right now, whereas all of the other stunt jumpers are. So if you want to check out more on the pricing and more details on the spec, head over to Specialized.com and be sure to check out the next issue of MBR for the first ride on the S-Works Carbon 29.